in the easternmost part of the island of Java. The picturesque road from Jember to Banyuwangi winds around the foothills of Gunung Rao, through rainforests, and finally up to the small hill town of Kalibaru. It is here that you will find Moon River Dairy, hidden amongst the lush grounds of a century-old estate. It is this land with its sweeping valleys and enchanting rivers that provides a source of constant inspiration. It is here where nature, tradition and artistry meet to produce one of the finest natural cheese in the region. Dairy farming in this estate began 70 years ago when ownership fell into the hands of the second-generation farmer and his wife. While the plantation continued to export highly valued spices to Europe, as it had done for many decades, the dairy farm started to produce milk and yogurt as much-needed nourishment for the local community. Armed with decades of experience, the current generation of dairy farmers combined centuries-old traditions and modern farming practices to devise the perfect formula that ensures the continuous production of high-quality milk. In the early morning, just moments after milk is expressed, our cheese enters its first stages of processing. First, starter culture is introduced to reach the perfect pH level for optimum cheese production. Then, a form of organic enzyme called rennet is added to turn the milk into curd. The coagulated milk is then cut to separate the solids from the liquid whey. This process is maintained until the desired texture is obtained. After all the whey has been drained, the solid curd is ready to begin the next step. This is where the process starts to differ between the cheese varieties. For our cloth-bound cheddar, the solid curd goes into the process of cheddaring. This is where we stack and turn the curd slabs in high frequency. The slabs are then milled into uniform pieces and salted before they are placed in its mold, ready to be slowly pressed over the course of 12 hours. For our alpine-style cheese, the unsalted curd is immediately placed into its mold. It is then slowly pressed until the desired density is reached. Salt is then introduced to the brining process. The cheese wheels will continue to marinate in their salt water bath for approximately two days. The finished wheels are then transported into our temperature and humidity controlled cellar where they are allowed to mature. As they age, the wheels need to be attended to constantly. Every day, the wheels are flipped, wiped, rubbed, and coated to achieve the desired quality and taste. This process may take as little as three months or as much as 36 months to complete. Cheese making is nothing short of alchemy. It is a beautiful combination of art and science. But most of all, it requires a great deal of patience, passion, and commitment. <laughs>